worldwide checking out from Bali. What a couple of four months it's been right now. I'm just uh, no camera out here. You can't really have cameras in the airport, so we're uh, shooting it, shooting a couple of vids from my phone here right now. So basically, just about to board to go to Miami right now, which is going to be through Kuala Lumpur, and then I'm going to be in Dubai. Um, and then basically straight from Dubai to uh, Miami now. So it's basically like a 30, I don't know, 32, 33 hour flight. Um, but that's the thing. I got nothing, I got nowhere to be right now. Now it's just a new chapter, like new, new chapter. I literally just like stood in the bathroom and thought to myself like, wow. The world is small, man. The world is so small, you know, like, and, and at the end of the day, we're just people. It's just people and places and like, you know, go and, go and put your feet in as many places as you can before it's too late, you know, because when you're 35, you're 40, you're 45, you don't want to do all that sort of stuff anymore. Same for me, probably, right? You want to have a base, you want to sit down, you want to you know, have a family at that time, you want to have all these sort of things, you know, so uh, I'm 29 years right now, so going to Miami right now is going to be an amazing, challenging new chapter, so super pumped, stay tuned, I will film as much as I can, like I made my little mission to like basically document and record every single step of the way, because I heard a wise man said one time, he said, assume you become super successful and you wish you had everything documented, you know? And, you know, what a trip, what a journey it's been so far. I'm 22 years old, moved to Australia, six years, been in Bali now for four months, and now the next chapter is Miami from here. So I'm uh, gonna grab a little sandwich and then uh, we're basically, basically ready to board the flight there. There we go, arrived in Miami. So uh, I'm gonna figure out my phone right now because they're suspended and they thought it got hacked. So I literally just shut the whole phone down so I can't really use it for uh, internet or anything. So I'm gonna sort that out now and then get to uh, the Airbnb after this. So uh, stay tuned. is a good place man yeah, I'm already sold you got the sunshine and you got got the palm trees you can't be you can't be all wrong then so um just arrived to this spot right now which is uh Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. I'm uh, very pumped, very excited to stay here. So basically we got, we got bathroom in here. And I just can't wait to just have a shower and chill. We got the bedroom in here, which looks really nice. Very different. And then we got basically the beach out there. And then we got Couch living room area here, which is uh, which is nice, really like that. And then uh, we got the balcony. So the balcony is six. I actually thought I was supposed to be in Brickle, but I'm actually in Miami Beach right now. So that's the main beach over there. And then we have downtown and everything in there, basically. So um, so that's good. I'm very very excited and very pumped to uh, basically just have a shower right now, get some food, and then just you know, chill for a little bit. And then probably uh, now I'm in Miami Beach, I'll probably just uh, check out that area and, uh, and see what uh, what's up with that. So uh, yeah, anyway, it's been, a, it's been a long trip, 33 hours it was, but uh, it didn't feel that, it didn't feel that bad. I got to sleep, you know, probably a good, good eight hours, had a couple of wake ups and stuff for food, but that was basically it. So again, as I said, like usually when you travel around, like you go from place to place and you kind of like, you don't want to waste time traveling around, but for me now, it's basically just 
there's nothing, there's nothing to really get to, you know what I mean? So, uh, so I could just relax and enjoy the trip and, and usually that's, that's how it flows, you know, so it just goes a lot easier there. So uh, anyway, I'll, um, I'll keep you posted, keep you updated and uh, show you around when I'm going to probably the beach next time. Thanks, get back on the drive. Welcome to United States, fucking hell, what a crazy thing. So obviously I'm by, I basically flew over here right now with the sole purpose of opening up a bank account to get my visa situation, these sort of things sorted. Goes into the banks and they said they won't allow me to open up bank accounts without actually physically have an address. And I can't get an address here before, uh, before basically get my visa. So what a backwards way of doing it, man. Anyway, part one of Sami going to the States. Bang shebang. Arrived, arrived. Look at this. We basically got downtown Miami there. And we got the beautiful, beautiful little uh, hangout area and stuff here. So, uh, see, that's the thing you know, when you are, when you're leaving, when you're leaving, uh, when you're leaving somewhere, you know, you want to be, you want to, you want to feel comfortable. You are here. You don't want to just be in a box room by yourself. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to show you around and these sort of things. I'm just going to get some lunch right now and then take it from there. What's up? What's up? What's up? We're getting, um, getting a little pit stop right now. I've been walking and walking around right now around my own beach to basically find some sort of like a healthy food that I could uh, that I could get in after the after the plane there. It was a uh, it was a long travel. Twenty three out no thirty three hours basically from Kuala Lumpur to Dubai. Home was like came late to my plane in, in Dubai. And then Dubai here to Miami, which was 15 and a half hours. I think it was 14 actually. So I mean, they were quite fast at the end. And then basically just arrived here right now. And uh, yeah, so far so good. Like the landscapes are very beautiful. You know, you got the colors, you got the palm trees, you got all these sort of things there. But Miami Beach is a little bit like St. Kilda in Melbourne, meaning. I don't know, it's just very, it's just a lot more old than it, you know what I mean? It's more old, it's more, you know, uh, touristed shops and that sort of thing, but, which is cool, you know? Like, I wanted to see and I wanted to be around there, but um, yeah, I wanna, I, I think I will get to the, on the other side, basically, in towards downtown and brick roads and these sort of things. Like that. All right, I try to keep an open mind. It's always hard now when you, when you just move from a, a beautiful place, you're emotional, you just said goodbye to people and these sort of things just like uh, you're just gonna let yourself allow to get into a routine have some good night's sleep catch up with a few people i know here and basically just take it from there so well uh, yeah man i'll uh i'll do my best to try to film everything document everything that was my mission um that was really what i learned in bali uh, how easy it is to to just document and just take you along the ride you know because this is a brand new chapter for me. This is a brand new shift, man. And I want to show you how, you know, how jumping out into things can and can unfold and, and, you know, what's the downside of it and what's the upside of it and, and, and everything in between, you know. So uh, I'm just trying to be me, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to explore myself and trying to challenge myself, you know. So, uh, yeah, moving over here right now is going to be a, a huge shift, uh, a huge, like, in everything, culture, people, place, marketplace, like business-wise and these sort of things. So like, Bali is truly a bubble and it's just like, it's so good. Like, the food is amazing, the people are amazing. You know, the little place is just so good. They have so many places you can get to, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna miss that, you know. And it, it, you gotta be careful not comparing that to that because it's it's obviously just, it's not a real world, you know. It's, it's really just a place you go to, but yeah.
good morning, good morning day. Basically two right now. In Miami, look at that beautiful sky up there. Hey. Uh, I slept there, I slept fine last night. Um, went to bed just before 11 and woke up here just before six right now. So that was, that was okay. Had my earplugs in and, and did my usual routine and stuff there, but um, um, yeah, you know, so, sometimes it's, you know, these sort of videos here shows, um, you know, they show they show what I do and, and that's what I'm up to most of the time, you know, but um, sometimes the hard part is to, to express and, and, and show these small moments of, of doubt and fear and, you know, insecurities and, and these sort of things there because like none of us wants to be alone, right? Like I think that's a, that's a, a human instinct. That's a human thing that, you know, none of us wants to be alone. You know what I mean? Like we are, what did they say? We are packed, we pack animal, you know? So, so naturally we want to be, we want to be part of a group and we want to be part of uh, a community and these sort of things there. So I think the hardest part for me to swallow right now, again, 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 is to have to start over with that. Like Miami is great. Miami is beautiful here right now. Like it's a sick place, like nothing to do with Miami. But coming out of Bali right now and, you know, just been with, you know, so many, so many amazing people, take it over here, um, has really sort of like squeezed the mark in me that I'm like, wow, I was like, I was in heaven up there. like. Some of the things that I really have requested in so long time during COVID and these sort of things there was, hey, I just want more like-minded people around me. I want more experiences with good people. It doesn't have to go out and party. It doesn't have to mean anything. It's just, I wanna be surrounded with good like-minded people that I can really you know, learn from and, and, and have good energy, you know, get good energy from and these sort of things there. So Bali was really that. Bali was like, incredible like incredible for the people and the community anywhere you went you've seen people before anywhere you went you have a conversation with someone new anywhere you went you just you're just surrounded with positivity and you know freedom and like-minded and you know uh, growth and all that sort of thing you know it was there all the time you know so uh it was a bit of a shock like coming back here again you know it's like it is a city, like I just went out for a walk here right now, you know, people are still out partying, um, you know, garbage trucks and hotels and big buildings and, you know, even just the place that I'm staying at, there's a really nice place, but it's kind of like a hotel, you know, a little bit more old school American sort of thing, big, big elevators and long hallways and, and that sort of thing, you know, and it's like, I just came from the jungle, with trees and lights and, um, you know, fresh and everything was just good energy there you know so um, yeah coming over here right now is, is it's a change like anything else but I've been sad to be honest like walking around uh, being by myself and, and sitting and really just reflecting and, and these sort of things and thinking like hey is, is this really what I want right now like do I want to go back to a big city right now or was Bali like the place for me to be right now should I should I you know take another maybe six to, to, to 12 months out of the calendar and really just establish myself in Bali and you know, grow my business because there were so many things there was fun up there to do, you know what I mean? Like the way you thought, your creativity, everything was just around expansion and growth where for me coming here right now, you know, the mindset I'm going to get into is, you know, uh, survival. <laughs> like a lot of it right now is survival. Like I've got to figure out where everything is again i'm gonna figure out like how to get around like it's a city i'm gonna get an apartment office space like you know the financial commitments and like all these sort of things there again it's, it's, it's back to reality where bali was just free like creativity just flew because you didn't have any anything to think about other than just being and that's really where i'm missing and, and, and these sort of things there but you know walking out here Seeing this super beautiful sunrise and thinking it's just day one, you know. I just moved myself again, again, again now and, and wanted to start a new chapter in the stage, you know. Um, so it's it's just meant to be, but you know, I thought I would just share, share it with you that, you know, 
this is uh, this is not just sunsets, white beaches, and and fun. This is lots of thinking, lots of headspace, and lots of sacrifices. Being by yourself and and you know basically going through what you naturally should do. You know what I mean? To build something again, build something even bigger. You know what I mean? Like being uncomfortable and sacrificing these sort of things is not something we naturally want to do. You know so. Um, anyway, hope hope this video here kind of like. Um, gave you permission to you know it's it's go for big things go for go for new things do new things you know but but always have you with you in it right always think about where where, where are you right now like what are you meant to do right now what are you meant to be right now and, and for me i don't know right i don't know that's the thing that's the beautiful thing about throwing yourself out in things because not before you do that not before then do you know what to do and, and where you're supposed to be right now so uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. Stay tuned, you know, and uh, I'll show you more sunsets and sunrises from Miami or wherever I am in this. Okay.